Aghang Naysing, this is Serbas of Serbas TV. In this two-part video tutorial series, we are going to learn about waves. In video 1, we are going to learn the characteristics and properties and parts of a wave. And in video 2, we are going to explore the characteristics of sounds. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment hashtag AgHamazing. Let's go! Observe this girl. What is she doing? Very good! She is waving her hand. Now, observe her palm. What is she doing to make a wave? Correct! She is repeatedly moving her hand side to side. In science, we call this as vibration. A vibration is a repeated motion and produced by a back and forth or up and down movement of an object. The source of waves is always a vibration. A wave is a traveling disturbance that carries energy from one place to another with or without a medium. A medium is a substance or material that carries the wave. A medium is where the waves travel. Take a look at this slinky. If we will stretch it, it will assume an equilibrium or rest position. It is not moving. However, when the first coil of the slinky is repeatedly moved from left to right, it will start to move. This creates a disturbance that travels from one end of the slinky to the other. From this example, which do you think is the medium? Correct! It is the slinky since it is where the disturbance or the wave travels. According to the presence of a medium, waves can be categorized into two, mechanical wave and electromagnetic wave. When a wave requires a medium in order to propagate, it is called a mechanical wave. Examples of mechanical waves include sound waves, water waves, and waves formed from a rope. On the other hand, when a wave does not require a medium, it is called an electromagnetic wave. Some examples of electromagnetic waves are radio waves, visible light, microwaves, and x-rays. These electromagnetic waves are arranged according to their frequencies and wavelength in an electromagnetic spectrum. You are going to study these waves in detail on your next grade level. Aside from the presence or absence of a medium, waves can also be classified according to the direction of motion of the vibrating particles with respect to the direction in which the waves travel. These are transverse waves, longitudinal waves, and surface waves. A transverse wave is a wave in which particles of the medium move in a direction perpendicular to the direction where the wave moves. A transverse wave moves vertically up and down. A wave in a rope is an example of transverse waves. Next is a longitudinal wave. A longitudinal wave is a wave in which particles of the medium move in a direction parallel to the direction where the wave moves. A longitudinal wave moves from left to right. A moving slinky posted on the screen is an example of a longitudinal wave. The parts in the slinky or a spring where the coils are close together are called compressions. The parts where the coils are spread out are called rarefactions. And the last one, we have surface waves. A surface wave is a combination of both transverse and longitudinal waves. A surface wave is a wave in which particles of the medium undergo a circular motion. An example of surface waves is waves produced in ocean. To understand more about wave, let us talk about its part. The equilibrium position is the undisturbed position of the wave. The highest point of a wave is known as the crest. On the other hand, the lowest point of a wave is the trough. 
the maximum distance from the equilibrium position to a crest or from the equilibrium position to a trough is called the amplitude. Amplitude is the measure of the energy the wave carries. The next part is called a wavelength. The wavelength is the distance between two successive identical parts of a wave. It can be the distance between two consecutive press or two consecutive traps of a transverse wave. In a longitudinal wave, the wavelength can be measured by finding the distance between two consecutive compressions or two consecutive rarefactions. Wavelength is denoted by the symbol lambda and measured in meters. Frequency is the number of waves passing through a given point in one second. It is measured in units called hertz. Look at this wave which propagated in a span of one second. It can be observed that there are two wave cycles. One wave cycle is equals to one crest and one trough. Thus, in this case, the value of the frequency is 2 hertz. The period is the time taken to generate one complete wave. It is also the time taken for the crest or any given point on the wave to move a distance of one wavelength. Its unit is second. Wave speed is how far a wave moves in a given amount of time. Wave speed is equal to the frequency multiplied by the wavelength. And those are the different concepts that we need to learn about waves. We are going to use these concepts to learn our next lesson, which is all about sounds. See you on our next science lesson. Agamazing!